Hi there. For the CAD Geek, I'm Donnie Gladfelter, and in this video, we'll explore how to create an AutoCAD viewport with an island or a cutout area within it. So to get started, you can see I have one of the sample AutoCAD drawings on my screen, a floor plan, and in this drawing, there is an AutoCAD viewport, and in addition to that, there is also a polyline representing the island or area that I would like to cut out of that viewport. So with that in mind, while it is possible to create a viewport with a cutout area, unfortunately, there's no way to cut out an area of an existing viewport. So with that in mind, we will have to go ahead and delete this viewport and go ahead and recreate it from scratch with the cutout area. So first things first, I'll select on the viewport, press delete to delete that viewport from my drawing. Now, rather than going straight to the viewport tools, what we need to do is create an object, a singular object that represents the area that you would like to show minus the area you don't want to show. So the tool that we have in AutoCAD that will allow you to achieve that is the region tool. So you can access the region command here on the home tab under the draw panel. If you expand it out right here in the lower left corner is the region command. So let's go ahead and click on that. And in this case, what you'll do is begin by creating two regions. And to do that, just select on the two objects that you would like to represent the sort of two boundaries of your viewport. So in this case, the outer and inner area. With those two objects selected, just press enter. And the result of that, if we go ahead and select on things, is you will have two regions inside of your AutoCAD drawing. Now this is great, this is a great first step, but in order for this method to work, you need to have a single AutoCAD object that you can convert into a viewport. So to do that, we need to combine these two objects into a singular object. So the tool that you have at your disposal to do that is the subtract command. So here I'm gonna go ahead and type in subtract at the command line, go ahead and pick on that. And in this case, you have to pick the object that you would like to subtract something else from. So in other words, you're always going to want to pick the outermost object or outermost region that you have. So in this case, the outer extents of the viewport that I'd like to create, and then press enter. So that's the object. And then we have to pick what we would like to subtract from that object. In this case, it will be that inner area that I would like to subtract. So in this case, we'll pick this region here. And once again, go ahead and press enter. Now, if you select on this, you'll see that both rectangles highlight. However, you have only one object inside of your drawing. And that is the critical thing that you need for this method to work. So now that you have just a single AutoCAD object in your drawing, you can come up here to the Layout Ribbon tab and under Layout Viewports, you can expand this out. And a lot of times you might pick rectangular or polygonal. However, this time what you'd like to do is pick on the Object option. So let's go ahead and pick on that. And in this case, you can now select that region you created. This is now a viewport. So if we click inside of it, we can go ahead and restore the view that was set up for this. And you can see now this is a single viewport. However, that area with that bathroom area is now cut out. You could create another viewport on top of it or whatever you needed to do. However, that area is now subtracted from the outer viewport itself. So there you have it, a quick look at how you can create AutoCAD viewports with an island or a cutout area within it. Until next time, I'm Donnie Gladfelter, happy drafting.